Hello friends, this is lesson 13 of NLP National Crossing and today's lesson we are going to cover the following topics. So here we will be discussing unsupervised machine learning. In previous lectures we talked about supervised but now we will talk about unsupervised machine learning and then clustering, k-means algorithm, unsupervised learning on text and we will give some examples for them. Let's start with the first topic and see what is unsupervised machine learning. So as the name suggests friends, here the machine itself clusters the data or subjects based on common patterns between them. So it means here the, the user is not that much involved. The machine itself is taking the decision and find the similarity between the data and based it will classify the data into response values right here we work with completely unlabeled data and that is the main difference between supervised and unsupervised machine learning in supervised machine learning what we'll do there we will provide labeled data for the classifiers but here the data is completely unlabeled right or in which our data has labels but we ignore them but here one other option is also there if the data has label but those labels will be ignored and let the machine itself to find the labels based on some similarities between that it will calculate and find the similarity between the features and based on those similarities it will be clustering the data or classifying the data into response values and now when to use unsupervised machine learning these are some of the use cases that you can use uh, sorry unsupervised machine learning first if there is no clear response variable if you don't know about the response values or the output so it is better to use unsupervised machine learning because we don't know about the response values right Another one, feature extraction. If you want to extract the new features, creating the new features from the existing one, or we don't consider the labels of our data and let the machine to decide or take decision and create the new features. So we will be using unsupervised machine learning to extract structure from data where no patterns exist. If you want to know the structure of the data and creating uh, new patterns, if there is no pattern it will be used uh, unsupervised machine learning now let's see and talk about unsupervised clustering what is this clustering clustering is nothing but the process of grouping the features or predictors features predictors and ports they are all the same friends based on their similarities based on similarities will be grouping them the, the algorithm will be grouping that so that is called clustering right so the algorithm is used to find the similarities that match between two or more documents since we are using text here and the document is given as an input and then the model or the algorithm will calculate and find the similarities between the documents and based on that it will show the response values similar features will be grouped under a single cluster if we have similar values or features for that a simple cluster a single cluster will be created for dissimilar values as another group will be or another cluster will be created here example is given friends all words related to sports will be grouped and created a cluster right for them a single cluster will be created and all words related to business for example for that another new cluster will be created because these words related to business they are different from the words from sports right for sport a single cluster will be created and for business another cluster will be created now there are different algorithms friends but the common and algorithm which is used the most and people are using them is k-means algorithm right what do you mean by this k-means algorithm and how it works uh, the algorithm which implements the concepts of clustering and minimizes the variance between the clusters this is 
the function of k-means algorithm it is used actually for clustering and minimizing variance between the clusters it defines the relationship between the features and based in this relation will be actually it is calculating or it is using statistics and probabilities for finding the relationship between the features right and then group them together into a single cluster right it first finds the relationship between the features how it finds it will be using statistics like probabilities and based on those calculations in mathematics what will do it will find the relationship between the features and those similar features will be created uh, sorry into a single they will be put into a single cluster the dissimilar features will be grouped and created another cluster now what do you mean by this k here here we have k means so what is this k k indicates the number of clusters how many clusters we want so we have to give the number of k there for example if you want to two clusters you then the value of k is equal to two if it is three so three clusters four clusters like that you can mention and then unsupervised learning on text how it is helping us this unsupervised machine learning while classifying the text unsupervised approach can be incredibly useful for exploratory text analysis because usually corpora are not pre-tagged with labels ready for classifications it is so much helpful using for text classification because you know that in text in documents we don't have pre-tagged labels or for example if you consider a corpora there we don't have pre-tagged labels or overall we can say in text we don't have labels if labels are not there so what will happen so the base way is to use unsupervised machine learning because in supervised machine learning we need labels but if you don't have labels we'll be using unsupervised machine learning right the task relies on our ability to compare two documents and determine the similarities now here while for example giving the documents or corpora it depends on our ability how to detect the labels or how to for example find the similarities in how to write the algorithm or the model to find the similarities between the features with text data each instance is a single document or utterance and the features are nothing but the tokens vocabulary structure metadata these are the examples friends now let's see here practically uh, so we talked about unsupervised machine learning it means we don't have labeled data here and the data will be grouped or clustered based on similarity uh, and it is so much suitable unsupervised machine or method is su suitable with text data because we don't have here the labels now how it is working friends this is the pipeline and this one this figure is taken again from the same book you can refer friends apply text analysis with python right so we have instances the document the data the text which comes here features vectors we have what are the features and then the features will be clustered right Al any algorithm will be used here for clustering and it will be clustered for example group one group two and group three like topic one topic two topic three or topic a b c like that they will be clustered or grouped now when we apply the unseen data what will happen based on these similarities the the, the data the new features will be classified or clustered So unsupervised clustering, we talk uh, clustering is nothing but the groups which are created based on similarities, right? And the algorithm for that is used k-means clustering and that attempts uh, to group data points into clustered with sun tribes. So that here we have the sun tribes and the sun tribe and data points will be calculated like for example based on Euclidean distance calculation. And these are the steps, friends, in initialize class on some trade. So here we have the data. 
this data will be uh, we have uh, see that based on similarity they are grouped or clustered this is one group this is another group and this is another group and how they are grouped based on the sun right first the sun right will be selected and then the distance between these values will be calculated and they will be put in a single cluster and they will be put in another cluster and then this in another cluster. Initialize cluster centroids, compute the minimum distance, right? Assigns uh, points to the new cluster, repeat step 2, tell centroids what stop changing their position and become static. This is the way and how it is clustering. I mean this key means how it is clustering the values based on similarities and based on calculating the centroid uh, from the data points. Unsupervised learning on text, we said it is so much suitable to use unsupervised machine or algorithms for classifying or clustering the data, especially when it is text because we don't have the labels there and if we don't have the labels, it is uh, unsupervised technique is used right and this is an example friends this example will consider these texts or the news are taken from bbc.com slash news so that's why I said BBC news is equal to I created a list and these are the text or the data what I have and they are put within the um, that list now I'm using NL taker natural language toolkit and string libraries and importing them and then the first step you know that we have to normalize the text the text comes here and i just remove the brackets and then they are tokenized and they are all converted into lowercase one by one and at the same time stripping the punctuations right you can apply other things also like if you don't want the um, stop words all those things as we did in previous lecture you can call that function also here but I use simple normalized function let me show you the result here I'm calling my function normalize and this is BBC news this is my text I'm applying and see they are all tokenized and at the same time they are all converted into lowercase and punctuations are removed now this is the second step we'll be using uh, TF idea vectorizer and at the same time I want to remove the stop words also right and they are transformed into documenter matrix and then here we have to mention how many clusters we want the number of classes is equal to two right and then uh, here I'm calling the function key means and these are the number of clusters I fit the model here let's see it is executed number of classes equal to 2 and here we'll see and find the centroids a number of features just to show you friends right let me print them here then you can better understand how many clusters we created two clusters so this is cluster 1 and this is cluster 2 and cluster 1 we all have these things like Google is there these are the things right in cluster 2 we have these things two types of text we have within this document friend if you see if you read it one by one then you can better understand two types of text we have so that is why it is classified clustered into two groups cluster 1 and cluster 2 now let's do some prediction here and I'm calling a function creating a function called prediction I will pass news here and that will be transformed and then k means will do prediction here and then it will see if it is uh, equal to zero it will say it depends on cluster zero cluster one otherwise it will be related to cluster two let me execute this part and these are the two news i'm passing to my uh, algorithm or model news one and news two and let's see the prediction here how it predicts so you see here the first uh, news I mean this one Apple and Google would like to be both okay to take control of users so that is considered as cluster one right 
and if I say TikTok application and that depends on cluster 2 right or here cluster 0 means cluster 1 cluster sorry cluster 0 means cluster 1 cluster 1 means cluster 2 if you're giving if you're considering by 0 1 and that is also cluster 1 and cluster 2 so I hope you understood these things friends uh, we talked about unsupervised machine learning and we said unsupervised machine learning is suitable and used when we don't have the labels and uh, it is much suitable while classifying the text because there we don't have the Mm, the labels right and then we talked about the algorithm which is used k-means algorithm uh, and then uh, we gave an example so i hope you understood all these things friends thanks